there are multiple videos on this power on this YouTube channel about Power BI. Uh, they're broken into segments, and this is like the ninth or tenth segment. And we're going to talk here about dividing. So if you're looking at, at drawing out percentages of totals uh, within different fields that we're making up along the way, creating what they call measures or variables, uh, this is a great video for you. It sounds a lot more complicated than it actually is. So stay tuned. We're going to jump right to it. So I'm going to show you here just kind of to, to begin here. We have two pie charts that are are pulling at the same data, but they're considerably different in the way they act and depend upon how you want to use this within your dashboard. I'm going to show you both of them. So let's look at this one first here. If you look at this one, you can see over here, I just literally put the pie chart on with the pie chart tool right here. I, I put as my legend risk level and then I put as my values gross profit and it automatically will go through find the different risk levels you see the four of them here give me and divide out and give me the percentages then when i select that it'll it'll kind of narrow down my list here so that i can see the specifics very easy very simple no fuss now we also have the ability to do this as more of a stationary and by the way you can use and you see this in other videos you know, drill into it with different things, drop down menus and lists and things like that. But really what we want to do is talk about divide. So just keep in the back of your head this way to do it. And it's very flexible. But for some of you, you may not want to do that. You may want to only select on the graphic and only see that data, those data points here and not impact all the rest of the data points within your environment. And so to create a pie chart like this we need to collect these variables right here and then we need to divide them and create these percentages so let me show you how to do that so here we we collected here we're going to go over here remember the calculated means it's a measure we're going to click on that there you go there's the code so in this video if you're looking for the code that you need to use or dax that you need to use here it is right here expected and sum is the variable calculate is the action that we're going to take and we're going to sum and use a sum and a filter as you see there in capitals data is the name of the table and gross profit and risk level are the field names within that table now this happens to be an excel spreadsheet so pretty simple those are columns gross profit is a column risk level is a column within that spreadsheet and i can show you that spreadsheet real quick here's risk level here's gross profit okay so and we just have the spreadsheet by the way sitting on a sharepoint site so it's automatically updating so this is how we get to this sum and we've repeated this for all of them so if you look at let me see high end sum right here go again I'm not going to uh, enlarge it, but you can see calculate filter. It's the same thing. I just replaced high here and high here. Uh, pretty simple stuff. Now that we have those numbers inside of variables, now we need to divide those numbers to come up with a percentage because the total of all of these numbers, and there's one other one right here. Where is it? Right here. Gross profit. If you look at this bad boy. Now, look at this one um, here on the code itself. Notice there, stable sum, expected end sum, high end sum, pending sum, they're all adding together. Those are the variables, right? These measures that we just talked about here at the bottom of the screen, right? So we're just adding them up here, these are them. And we're giving ourselves a total. And we go into the reason why we do this in two different ways. So this is another way to sum that up, but see the other video on that. We're not gonna get into that now. So how do we do these percentages? Well, let's start looking at these percentages. They're right up here. Let's go ahead and look at that one. So you see the variable name, DIV expected end, and then we're gonna use a divide. Now we can use the divide using a slash. That's a really bad habit because 
some things don't respond well and it's going to dork up your data so so divide is the way to do it and so you see there expected end sum again is that variable that we created comma and so one is the top and one is the bottom the numerator and the denominator and so you see the field names, excuse me, you see the variables that we created, expected end sum and gross profit risk manual. And you can see that here on the bigger screen, gross profit risk manual, which we just looked at. And then we're taking expected end sum is this guy right here. So we're dividing this guy by this guy. Okay. And this allows us to see this number as a percentage. So if you add all these up right here, it's gonna equal 100, I hope. Yeah, it does. All right, so then to get this pie chart working, so that's how, these are the end percentages. To get the pie chart working without the drill down capability, right? Just the flip like this, you can see it flip here, right here. So use your pie creation tool here and then just drop in your values here. So all of your values are here and you can see them. And then um, we're just showing the values with no, no calculation and it, it, it works beautifully. Now we can also adjust these numbers. Notice how there are two. You go here to the format your visual and uh, details. It's in one of these label. Now, so you can see here, you can adjust those details. Oh, there it is, values. So here, you just want to move those to two, two. So it appears nicely. And you can play with these. This window is pretty easy to play with. Um, there's a lot of great little things in there here, like for example, the title, and but we can change the title. If we, there's lots of good stuff in here, I digress. So that is how you do it. So just in summary, this pie chart is using the divide. We're using a divide. Let me go back up and show that one last time um, to divide two variables to get to this percentage. And then we're using this here, this sum and filter in a calculate to get this, these total numbers. But again, if we want this to be drill capable, so we want to be able to click on this and see things over here change for us. And these numbers all change. See how they're all changing when I click on that? Then you'll want to use this format, which is very simple. Just put in the risk and the gross and it's going to automatically separate that data for you. And notice it's also changing this data here because these totals are changing. Remember when we don't have that, see how they're all up and working? And when we go and click on it, nothing changes, right? So you can see all the totals stay the same. So it's just really whatever it is that you want to do using the divide function.